Imo to replace Ibubeago with vigilante outfit. Imo state government may have concluded plans to set up an Imo vigilante outfit to replace Ibubeago, which citizens have roundly condemned because of their method of oppression and too many killings associated with them. Speaking with newsmen, Weekend, the chief political advisor, head of political affairs bureau, Eyina Onwebo, said Governor Hoku Zodima plans to float a vigilante group for security of lives and property of Imo State. He added that the law supporting the creation of a vigilante group has been passed by the House of Assemblies. So it wasn't before. <laughs> well, it is worthy to note that Imo people are not happy with Ibu Beago. In the past few months, senseless killings of Imo youths have been recorded and reportedly traceable to Ibu Beago. And you know what is funny? The time in which Ibuago was established, it was literally a counter move to the ESN, the Eastern Security Network by the IPO, because Ibuago's security network was literally, for short in the name, also stands for ESN. So it's funny because the intention must have literally been to mistake the identities. Okay, you have one of the state, I have one of this group, right? And so their intention probably was that a lot of the killings that will be happening now, because both of them are ESN, they would want to transfer the blame to the ESN of IPOB rather than the ESN of the state. Well, this obviously is very much unwise and a waste of time because why is that security? Because we can't have this conversation without ESN by IPOB. Because why they also were established and were active was because the state security was not reacting and was not taking care of the people, especially at the height of the headsman crisis. And so that was literally why they were established. And again, it was more of an organized, you say vigilante group, but it was just by hypo. And of course, trust the Nigerian government, they were running Helter Skelter and they were like, what? So much resistance against them. And now this, that this security outfit in Biago that they came up with is messing up big time. The problem is not to find another alternative vigilante group. What, what is the problem with the governors? What is fix the security force that you have that is seriously understaffed, seriously undertrained, and under equipped and corrupt? And the training as to how these are public officers and how they treat the citizens is just so bad. The mindset, the police system, it is bad. So why make a new one when you have an existing security force that you need to fix? What is the problem? Do you think you're doing something smart? It isn't. It isn't smart. You cannot create an... It's like you're not fixing your problem. You're creating another problem. Because... The problem of the state security, the police, whatever, it still exists. It's not going to go away just because you made a Beago and a Beago has failed. You want to make another vigilante outfit. Nobody asked. You're not being called to order. This is not what you should be doing. Why are you doing this? It doesn't make sense. Whether they replace them or not, this man is not on that seat for the people. Rather for his Fulani sitters or Fulani masters. He hasn't accomplished his mission in Imo State after killing 15% of Imo people. And you know what? It will always be held over his head that he wasn't voted for and he was fixed there. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, listen, you know, you are not what the people want. And in that case, it creates a lot of problems. But the fact is, if you're not what the people want, right, you are now in a place where you just have to prove yourself because you didn't have a opportunity to prove yourself to be voted for. So you prove yourself. But he just hasn't done that. But anyways... The problem is, why Why are you creating another security vigilante outfit? Why? What is the point? Because this would create another diversion of funds. Just You're going to justify funds to be invested in this security outfit. And it's like, what is the point? Maintain what you already have. Don't make anything new. There are so many problems with yours. You are the chief security officer of your state. And you already have... A police for what is the problem? It's either you scrap, you need to have one. There has to be unity. You can't be having a Biago. How do how can an individual in the state differentiate what is a Biago and what is the state police? Like who who is in charge and who has the power here? There needs to be unity, there needs to be one authority, there needs to be one security organization that has the authority that is known as the body to secure them. Who do they call an emergency? I don't, I'm, even when Ibe Ago did not exist, I don't think any, they knew who to call. 
at this point, a lot of people are still calling 911. I mean, over the, all over the world, and they probably get transferred to their state, whatever. But it's just so bad. What is your point? Do you think you have done something? Because you haven't done anything. And maybe it's a ploy to just try and do something. Okay, fine, you know, they're leaving. You know, this tenure is coming to an end. So, you know, let's let him just do some little things to make it look like, you know, he's achieved a lot in the state. Because first of all, he already has problems of just not being wanted and liked in the state because he wasn't, he wasn't put there by the people. So that already is an issue he has to fight. And it's unfortunate, you know, say it's fair, but, you know, that's what is, that's his situation, that's his circumstance. So whatever he does would also be seen under that lens and say, you know, by the way, I mean, a lot of, you know, other, other situations in the most have, have happened and the comments that you see is, excuse me, um, who gave you the authority? Because it wasn't us. It wasn't, we didn't vote for you. So I don't know where you're getting this authority from. But the problem is, why are you not fixing your current security? Why are you not fixing it? Why? You need to train them. They're understaffed. Look at the population of people in Nemo State. You know what? Let's do some calculations because this is a problem. A very, very big problem. You have your police force treating people like absolute garbage. What would be the difference with the vigilante group? Because they are literally doing the exact same thing. There have been senseless killings in the past month. So what is now the difference? It's not by creating a group. The same mentality on how they, they feel to protect their citizens is still there. They don't protect their citizens. There's no structure. There's no order. There's no accountability. The mindset is just poor. The fact that your, your party has established... A, a, a regime of impunity so they can really do what they want and they will not be held accountable and this is nationwide let's run in a state and kudos to the people for you know, obviously recognizing that a lot of the killings were were, were traceable to Ewe Ago. but it's such it's such a problem such a problem and it needs to be fixed and creating i mean creating again again it's not a thing where you just need national security and we need to uh -uh. if each state is not on top of their security then there's a problem because it is the build-up of the state security that make up the national aggregate security force and we can say you know what this is good but you can't just expect and say you know what national security has to be amazing it starts from your states what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe